Okay, awesome stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to the International School of Traders. My name is Mubagum Tiane, uh, the CEO and founder of the International School of Traders. Guys, before we commence, I'd really love to welcome each and every single one of you who has come to the International School of Traders in the month of July and the beginning of July. This is a new month. There's a lot that is expected to happen this month in terms of the news calendar, as we always expecting. But for those of you who are new and very new, I would love to say, guys, please welcome home and also feel free to, uh, 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 to, you know, to make comments in the group, uh, to uh, enjoy yourselves and also ask some questions where you don't understand. I really appreciate that. We've got a variety of people in the group, the chief traders, and also I myself, I am there to show you guys uh, 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 the way uh, as the CEO and founder, as your mentor, uh, you guys. Okay, awesome stuff. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. I hope the start of your career is going to be a wonderful one. Let's get into the business of the day. Uh, for those of you who are very new, it's not going to make sense, uh, but I'm pretty much sure that you guys are going to receive uh, your, your guide in terms of what is expected from now, uh, either on a Telegram group or on a video. Uh, it will depend. I hope you guys have received or are going to receive uh, your guide into what's really going on okay awesome stuff let's go into the market uh before we go into the markets guys tomorrow in terms of the news item let's quickly look at what's going on this is our weekly analysis meaning we are only looking at what is happening this week but uh, for the purpose of this video we're only going to look at tomorrow because i am planning to have our starts in terms of the news uh, tomorrow, I mean, in terms of the daily live trading, I think it's tomorrow. I think it is tomorrow. So uh, I am going to be announcing everything in the morning on a Monday morning. So the only thing that we need to look out for tomorrow, I think this is going to be the big one, is the manufacturing PMI, right? It's going to be coming from, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be coming from uh, Spain, coming from uh, Switzerland. And there's also retail sales coming from uh, Switzerland and Germany. So those are sort of good ones to look out for also. But the manufacturing PMI is going to come from Germany, uh, China, Australia, Australia, uh, Spain, uh, Italy, France, uh, uh, and then also uh in in britain also uh, and then there is some from uh, the united states so uh, that's gonna be looking at you know the manufacturing pmi and all these other things uh, but this is a big week too that we are looking at uh, it is a big week in terms of what we are looking at in the, in the scale of things uh this is the non-fame peril weeks so we are looking to create the non fame program this week, which I'll be explaining in the next couple of days on these videos, right? So let's get into the market and show you guys what's really going on. And I'm gonna start off with um, XAUUSD, right? XAUUSD, I'm gonna start off on the daily time. So I wanna show you guys what we have been looking at for a number of weeks, if not months now. Uh, this has a very successful trade for us. Uh, we've seen this market breaking, uh, you know, uh, towards the top side, coming back in and then uh, pushing towards the top side and then successfully retesting this zone. So this has been a good trade for us. And for those of you who've been following, uh, you remember that I said this could be our left shoulder, the head, and then this now that is forming here is our uh, uh, our right shoulder. So in terms of the head and shoulders formation, we should be looking for a upwards movement in this particular case. And yes, guys, thank you so much for your traveling wishes and uh, traveling messages and all those. Uh, I, I arrived safely at home and everyone is good at home. 
uh, but I am working from home. Uh, I am doing things from home. I hope you guys will enjoy me working in KZN and all of that. Cool stuff. Now let's uh, move um, uh, things a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, cool. In terms of gold, uh, XAUSD, we are looking to buy gold, right? We are looking to buy gold here. Uh, this is going to be very, very important. Like in terms of where we're looking at the market going, I'm looking for a buy on gold, this level moving uh, to these particular levels, which is 1912. 1912 is one of my biggest targets, right? Cool stuff. But before we get there, let's go into smaller time frame, like a four hour time frame to just look at a couple of things. Um, I love this. I love this. Cool. So in terms of what I'm looking at here, I'm looking at a bounce at these levels right here and markets moving go to a top side. Yes, market might even push a little bit further and then start moving towards the top side. But the, the ultimate goal is to buy in this market, right? And I hope that we start buying on Monday, which is tomorrow which is going to be a great thing for us, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, let me just quickly wrap this off. And then let's look at the smaller time frame in this particular case. I think a smaller time frame won't show much of the things that I'm looking for. Uh, but this zone that I've been talking about is such a significant zone of buying. I think I mentioned it with one of the people when I was in the office on Thursday. Uh, mentioned this and this uh, is what is happening right now. Okay. Awesome stuff. Let's look at um, CAT CHF. Now, according to CAT CHF, guys, uh, we are slightly looking at something uh, of a bounce like this one right here. Market's coming down and protruding this uh, zone and coming back up then this is likely to be a, a retracement, uh, which is a reversal a little bit to this zone or this other zone. But I'm very happy, I'll be very happy with selling at this zone before markets go down, right? But if you look at it on a four hour time frame too, you can see that the market is strongly bearish here. The market is strongly bearish to the downside. We have lower lows and lower highs, right? Lower lows and lower highs. Now, what we need to look at also here is that there's some sort of a confusion here, a structure that has formed on a one hour time frame, which I believe is not gonna be, you know, a structure that is going to affect us that way. But um, according to what I'm seeing, this structure should be breaking just the downside. That, that is to say, if market does go down and never go up, uh, this will be the cause, this structure that we are seeing here, this downwards movement and, uh, you know, markets growing towards the downside. But we must not uh, shy away from the fact that on a daily time frame, we've created a lower low, right? Uh, a lower low in this particular case, presenting to us what may seem as a bearish market now in this particular case. Now let's watch and see and see what the market is going to do. Anything on Eurocad, there is nothing for now. I think Euro USD is kind of like important too, uh, since the market is strongly bullish here and uh, in terms of a daily time frame. But I think on a four hour time frame, we do have some couple of levels there, or maybe on a one hour time frame. I believe this level, uh, which is uh, 1.18, uh, uh, 261 is one of the beautiful levels to look out for in terms of buying next uh, in this particular case right here. And then do you have anything on USDCHF? Yes, if you look at USDCHF, I believe there's going to be a retracement on USDCHF on Monday, right? I believe there's going to be a, a, a retracement markets uh, retracing a little bit, you know, going back to the 38.2 or a little bit further higher and then coming down, you know, from these zones. Uh, that is what I believe is happening right here. Okay, cool stuff. Let us look at, uh, I don't believe I do have something on GPSD that I wanna share. Um, 
uh, let me just quickly check if I do when I share something on GBPST. Uh, yes, there is. Uh, <laughs> so uh, the short term sell here on, on GBPST is going to do tomorrow if my if this is not a fake out, right? But a short term sell, if you look at it in a four hour or one hour time frame, rather, uh, a short term sell towards the downside here. Moving from this zone to this zone is going to be uh, like 70 pips or so. And then striking that 70 pips is, can be one of the beautiful things, uh, beautiful ways of starting the week uh, in this particular case right here. So let's see how things happen. Let's go and see if there's anything on USDJPY. Yes, a little bit of retracement will do here. Uh, but the market on a four hour time frame, uh, on a four hour time frame, the market is still, you know, very on the very side of things. And I'm looking at this level right here, a four hour time frame or oh, one hour time frame. At this level, as our point of selling, you know, before markets start creating another new low here. Uh, I believe this is a beautiful selling zone once again. I don't know for how many for how many times now uh, this has been the selling zone but this is a selling zone once again for markets you know to go a little bit further down another thing on adst est czar is kind of like important so looking at est czar uh, i believe i've been discussing est czar for quite a while now uh, but i believe now that we as we have these three moving averages which are showing us trend you can see how much the market is struggling to stay above the 200 day SMA in this case. And I don't want to entertain that. I want to wait for market to come all the way down to the 100 day SMA. And then we can look for buy entries on those zones. It's probably around uh, 1428 uh, 14 to the dollar. Uh, in this particular case. Let's see if USDCAD has something for us. USDCAD is strongly bearish, but I really wanna say, look at, uh, <laughs> I really wanna look at some few things here on, on USD um, CAD. So uh, yes, the market is bearish and all of that, but I believe a retracement, just a couple of pips towards the top side and Keys these levels start going down once again. This can bring us into, a, can give us another entry in terms of selling USD uh, CAD in this particular case. So make clear all my drawings, uh, move this direction. Uh, let's see, okay. I don't believe there's any other things like Euro GBP, um, is the one to look out for probably, but I believe that uh, Euro GBP took a long time before it started going up last week. Uh, but this level right here can be one of the most important ones for us uh, who are looking to sell in this market because the market is still, uh, you know, strongly bearish here. Okay, cool stuff. Euro NZD, nothing much, uh, nothing much, and then. Uh, one more time, one more thing is, uh, okay, I don't believe there's anything more than these. I can only look at, you know, a couple of uh, indices as the market is looking more like a seller's market. Uh, let's look at NASDAQ. Mm. New season indeed and NASDAQ, but Let's see how things go. If everything goes well in NASDAQ, this is going to be a beautiful buy towards the top side. But if things do not, uh, we will see. <laughs> we'll see how things go. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for joining this, uh, or for watching this video. I will be with you shortly in the groups, and I will also see you on the other side of the withdrawals.